Well, today, one of those favorite scriptures for us all, or two favorite scriptures for us all. The Lord has appeared of old to me. This is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. And then Romans 5, verse 7 and 8. Perhaps for a good man, someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Well, God's love is outstanding. There are so many verses that celebrate his great heart of love. Unsurprisingly, it is not possible for us to fully grasp the extent of his love because we always measure it by our own love, which is often so weak and poor, let's admit it. We love the lovely and the good, but God loves sinners. God's love of righteousness caused him to slay his son, but he did not slay love. In fact, he magnified love in that supreme and matchless act of love. God is like a father who has a child given to a life of immorality or crime. Perhaps a daughter became a prostitute or a son became a drug pusher. The father may grieve deeply for the chaos and destruction wreaked upon his offspring, but he never ceases to love them because he remembers them as little children full of promise. God looks into the heart of the worst sinner and still believes that he can restore that broken vessel to the very image of God himself. We've all lost the right to be loved by God, by the dark thoughts and deeds that have marred our lives. But the word of God bids us throw off all doubts and fears and return to him in brokenness trusting in his mercy and his matchless grace made manifest in Christ. God is amazing and his wonderful love calls out to every human being to throw themselves in absolute surrender into his loving arms. God bless you.